good morning children children in your previous class you studied about the collecting data organization of data and also the representative values and you studied in that the average see average it is a number that represents or shows the central tendency of a group of observations or a data since average lies between the highest and the lowest value of the given data so we can say that average is a major of the central tendency of the group of a data and different forms of data need different forms of a representative or a central value to describe it and one of these representative values is the arithmetic mean now today children we will study about the arithmetic mean arithmetic mean see the most common representative value of a group of a data is the arithmetic mean or the mean arithmetic mean means it is the the most common representative representative value of a group of a data is the arithmetic mean or the mean see children to understand the arithmetic mean in a better way you look at the following example here see two vessels contain 20 liters and 60 liters of milk respectively take one example here two vessels they contain 20 liters and and 60 liters of milk respectively see what is the amount that each vessel would have if both share the milk equally see children you consider that if two vessels they contain 20 liters and 60 liters of milk and you have to find here what is the amount that each vessel would contain if the both the vessels share the milk equally see for this you have to find the arithmetic mean see in this the average or the arithmetic mean average or the arithmetic mean would be it would be total quantity of milk total quantity of milk divided by number of vessels total quantity of milk divided by number of vessels see here children here total quantity of milk is 20 liters plus 60 liters and here two vessels are there so divided by 2 it is 80 by 2 that is 40 liters see children in this example the two vessels contain 20 liters and 60 liters of milk and you have to find here each vessel contains how much quantity of milk here so here you have to find the average or the arithmetic mean it is the total quantity of milk divided by number of vessels here 
total quantity is 20 plus 60 liters number of vessels are 2 that is 80 by 2 40 liters here thus each vessel contains here 40 liters of milk each vessel here each vessel contains 40 liters of milk And here, now the average or the arithmetic mean or simply we can call it as a mean, it is defined as mean equals to sum of all the observations, sum of all observations divided by number of observations Num number of observations see children here now we can define the mean as arithmetic mean that is we can call it as a mean also mean equals to sum of all the observations divided by number of observations we take one example children here example Ashish studies 4 hours 5 hours and 3 hours respectively on 3 consecutive days on 3 consecutive days how many hours how many hours does he study daily on an average see children here are he studies 4 hours, 5 hours and 3 hours respectively on 3 consecutive days. Here you have to find how many hours does he study daily on an average. Here solution. The average study time of Ashish. It is total number of total number of study hours divided by number of days for which he studied. See children here total number of study hours 4 plus 5 plus 3 divided by number of days for which he studied that is he studied for 3 days divided by 3 that is 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 3 value by 3 that is 4 hours 4 hours he studied per day means each day he studied for 4 hours 4 hours per day thus we can say here that Ashish studies 4 hours daily on an average therefore Ashish studies for 4 hours daily daily on an average take another example children example 2 here a batsman scored 
a batsman scored the following number of runs in six innings the runs are 36 35 50 60 70 80 and 55 here you have to calculate the mean runs scored by him in an inning means uh, here you have to calculate the mean runs scored by him in one innings that is solution here the runs scored by the batsman has been given here they are 36 35 50 46 60 50 and 55 and you have to calculate here the mean runs scored by him in each innings that is here first you have to find the total runs total runs that is 36 plus 35 plus 50 plus 46 plus 60 plus 55 if you add we will get here 282 now to find the mean we have to find the sum of all the observations and divide it by the number of observations here the number of observations are 6 means here 6 innings has been given here therefore number of observations is 6 therefore mean equals to total runs scored total runs scored divided by number of innings here already we have calculated the total runs they are 282 divided by number of innings are 6 here you will get divide 282 by 6 6 ones are 6 fours are here 28 minus 24 4 will remain here 6 ones are 42 that is 40 7 here thus the mean run scored in one inning there it is 47 therefore mean runs scored in an inning are 47 next children we will study about the range see children the difference between the highest and the lowest observation it gives us an idea about the spread of the observations this can be found out by the subtracting the lowest observation from the highest observation see children range means it is the difference between the highest and the lowest observation we call the result the range of the observation understood children range means it is the difference between the highest and the lowest observation the difference between the highest and the lowest observation is the 
range. Take one example, children. Here, the ages in years of ten teachers of a school are thirty-two, forty-one, twenty-eight. Fifty-four, thirty-five, twenty-six, twenty-three, thirty-three, thirty-eight, and forty. Here you have to find first one. What is the what is the age of the oldest? teacher what is the age of the oldest teacher and that of the youngest teacher second one you have to find here what is the range of the what is the range of the ages of the teachers what is the range of the ages of the teachers third one what is the mean age means average age of these teachers what is the mean or the average age of the teachers here see children first you find the age of the oldest teacher and that of the youngest teacher first here you have to arrange the ages in the ascending order solution first one arrange the ages in ascending order you will get here arrange these in ascending order 23 ascending means small to big you have to arrange 23 26 Here twenty three is the smallest. Next twenty six and twenty eight, thirty two, thirty three, thirty five, thirty eight, forty, forty one and fifty four. Now we find that the age of the oldest teacher. Here, see the highest age here, children. That is the age of the oldest teacher. The age of the oldest teacher is age of the oldest teacher is fifty four years and fifty four years and the age of the youngest teacher means who is the smallest amongst the all youngest teacher is 23 years second one children you have to find here the range of the ages of the teachers that is range of the ages of the teachers it is range means teacher uh, range means it is the difference between the highest and the lowest observation here the 
highest observation is 54 and the lowest observation is 23 54 minus 23 will get here 31 years therefore range is children it is 31 third one you have to find the mean age of these teachers that is mean age of the teachers see you have to add the total ages this equals to total ages of the teachers and divided by number of teachers number of teachers that is total ages children equals to 23 plus 26 plus 28 plus 32 plus 33 plus 35 plus 38 plus 40 plus 41 plus 54 you have to add all the ages children divided by number of teachers are 10 now add these all you will get 350 divided by 10 that is 10 ones are 10 threes are 5 will remain here 50 10 fives are that is 35 years therefore mean age of the teachers is 35 years understood children till now we studied about the arithmetic mean and also the range arithmetic mean means children it is also a common representative representative value of a group of a data it is the arithmetic mean means it is average only here you have to find first the sum of all the observations and you have to divide it by the total number of observations it gives us the mean next range range means it is the difference between the highest and the lowest observation understood children you write this all and if you have any doubt you can ask me next concepts we will study in our next class thank you